Hey guys, it's Dropsy with Paperless X. Today we'll be looking at someone else's workflow. We've had this sitting around for months, some probably years. I apologize to everyone who wrote in. We didn't forget your inquiries, we just didn't have a team big enough to handle them as we had initially thought. But we're hoping to steadily clear the backlog before opening up for more workflow challenges. And so here is our workflow challenge for today. Lewis is a university student who was using GoodNotes, but for several reasons has left the app to use OneNote, which is better. Lewis annotates lecture PDFs, and so that's the first thing we have to replicate. I don't have a lecture PDF on my iPad, so I had to make one I could use to replicate this workflow. Most lectures come as slides, so ideally that is the format that I need. Once I got a functional copy, I opened it in Keynote. Which I prefer to Microsoft PowerPoint, but this stage you can really do in either app. I will create a PDF that I can annotate to add more notes. I am happy with that, so I will save it to files ready to import into OneNote. Lewis imports PDFs, question and answer sheets. That is because of the print function in OneNote, which allows you to see all the pages of your document. It is by doing this that Lewis is able to annotate lecture notes. My screen is frozen now, so I have to close the app and open it again to see if I get any response from it. There you go. And what Lewis loves even more about this setup is all the space around the PDF that you get in OneNote. When you run out of space, you can write on the app's infinite canvas. So this is a very important part of Lewis' workflow. The question and answer sheets have to be in one document according to the workflow we've been given. So after answering some questions on the question paper, Lewis can print out the answer on the side of the question to check them. I thought this would align, but it depends on the number of pages in each document. But still, not to worry, there's a workaround. I just have to delete a few pages. Move a few things. That works. Such a setup is not possible in GoodNotes though. So Lewis was happy with OneNote for a while. However, OneNote turned out to be buggy on the iPad. The printout function displayed blurry text on the PDF when zooming in. Upon searching the OneNote Reddit, Lewis learned that this problem had been present for many years and Microsoft had never bothered to fix it. So for this workflow, we tried to replicate this, but we haven't experienced such a bug. It doesn't mean that 
One notch is not buggy though. The bug that we experienced was the app crashing a few times. But it's also important to note that blurry pages in OneNote besides the bug can also be caused by a slow internet connection because OneNote is always downloading and uploading things online. Because of this bug, Lewis needs an alternative for OneNote that imports PDFs on an infinite canvas. The first option that Lewis tried was Apple Notes, but that didn't work out because the app can't zoom in. This is an inquiry from a long time ago, so we're going to try and replicate this and see what has changed. Most handwriting note-taking apps open as documents or as notebooks, not on an infinite canvas. So I'm going to import the two documents we need into Apple Notes. In iPadOS 18, you can zoom in and out of your PDFs now. Make them as large or as small as you want in your notes. This document has varying page sizes, so let me quickly delete some. The problem I see with this setup, unlike in OneNote, is that our documents are one above the other, so you can't compare them side by side. For that, I suggest using multiple instances. It's a decent workaround, but it's not really perfect. Another advantage of using Apple Notes is that you can open the document to freely work on the questions without much distraction from the rest of the app. But this setup, Lewis probably had in good notes and didn't like it. Using Apple Notes also means that Lewis loses the infinite canvas to write lecture notes. So I can see why this solution really didn't work for Lewis. Apple Freeform was another option that didn't work because the app doesn't display PDFs. It only attaches them with no ability to interact with them. The app also has no folders, and that makes it useless for a student who needs some organization. So this option our team also ruled out. Then we went digging, and we found this. ProDraft is an app we haven't reviewed yet. But it's definitely on our to-do list. Can't vouch much for it at this point, but it does solve the problem we have. It is one of the few apps that creates notebooks with infinite pages. You can then drag and drop your questions and answers into the app, which are the PDFs that Lewis is using. This gives you the closest to the OneNote experience where your PDFs are close to each other and you can write around them if you ever need to. However, writing on the PDF itself is not straightforward. Watch what happens when I scroll the page. The ink is not moving with the page we wrote this on. That is why you have to annotate or write on your PDFs in a separate window. We had a minor bug that wasn't showing what I'd written. Nothing closing the app won't fix. 
when you annotate separately, then that is on the PDF itself, not on the infinite canvas. You have this huge infinite canvas to write on, and your PDFs are side by side. You can also annotate your PDFs. It checks all the boxes for what Lewis needs. That brings us to the end of this workflow challenge. Hope you found it useful and let us know if you have a different solution that we can try out. Would love to hear about it. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you, fantastic human, for watching. See you in the next video.